<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I've got a, a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today. This is an RTA, dual coil RTA from Geek Vape. It's called the Zeus Dual. I've been running this hot and heavy. Why did I say that? I've been I've been using this a lot, a lot, a lot over the past few weeks, and uh, I really enjoy it. I'm really enjoying this RTA. The wicking is a little bit difficult sometimes. It's a little bit of a balancing act. The first time I did it, I just packed way too much cotton in there. The second time I did it, I did it perfectly, and then the third time I did it, I didn't put enough cotton in there. So it really is sort of a, a balancing act that you kind of have to dial in every time you wick it. But anyway, in order to see all of that, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do. That's right. Quick, short, up, close time. Go. <clears throat> all right. Yeehaw. Well, this is the Geek Vape Zeus Dual. We're just going to be taking a quick look at it from top to bottom right there on the bottom. Yeah. Nice static protruding 510 pin. The total diameter of it, they say is 26 millimeters, but this fits on most 25 millimeter, you know, mech mods, things like that. If you're going to run it on a mech mod, I'm just saying that it's 26 millimeters around and it kind of tapers. You can kind of see it taper down just a little bit. This is 25 across the bottom. So it'll look normal and not weird on, you know, most box mods. <laughs> right at the top here, you got 810 compatible drip tip. It also comes with a 510 drip tip adapter. This is how you fill it. There's just one turn and then this comes off and you have two big kidney shaped juice fill holes right there. And you can see there's a notch there, notch there. Those are going to line up with these tabs right there. It's literally just, you push it down and it's one turn and then it's sealed back up again. There's no threading or weird clicks or anything like that. It's just a boop, 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 just like that. Once you take this off, for some reason, you can take the AFC ring off and the whole thing comes apart like this. There's your deck on the bottom and then this glass can be easily popped off for full cleaning and then that's completely disassembled. This is all one piece right here. So we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna set that aside. We're gonna put all these aside. We're just gonna take a quick look at this deck. Those are my very dirty, dirty, dirty coils I have in here right now, but it's cool. We're gonna get them clean again real quick. Just a few quick pulses with heat and they, uh, yeah, they, they look much better now. You can kind of see the deck is a postless deck design. You just pre-clip your leads and drop them in there. It's not terribly difficult. You kind of want them really low into the deck because that's where your airflow is coming in from the side. You can kind of see it comes up from the side, like kind of upward at an upward angle there. Airflow right at your coils, which is great. And you can kind of see coming off the front of your coils here, you have this little chamber right down here, this little opening. This is where your wicks are going to go. And I found with dual coils in here, it's really easy to go overboard on the wick and wick this too much. And it, that can lead to dry hits. So with the Zeus 2, especially if you're running a dual coil in here, these are both uh, two and a half millimeter coils. You're going to want a little bit less wicking than you think you need in here. They need to be long enough to go down in there, but they don't want to be so full that they're just going to jam this up and not let the juice flow up. This RTA, like a lot of other RTAs, it's just a little bit of a balance between, you know, wicking, your juice viscosity, your coil diameter, all a big balancing act. So I got it set on top of my Axis Vapes M17 mod right now, and what I'm going to do is just uh, wick this real quickly. I'm just using uh, pre-cut strips of Kogendo Japanese organic cotton, which my camera is clearly not going to attempt to focus on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now it's in focus. Just, I cut some strips of Kogendo organic Japanese cotton. I know these are two and a half millimeter coil so I feel like that's eh, maybe about right. Again, this isn't an exact science. It's always a little bit of a balancing act. Now, when you get to this stage here, sometimes what I like to do is trim the cotton down just a little bit more. You have kind of a, a small space to work with underneath here. You don't have a whole lot of room for a lot of wick in here, but you still need the length on this wick. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll just kind of cut them at a little bit of an angle. You know what I mean? I'm just going to take a little bit off the side. Let me try to show you on this side. It's a little bit easier. 
just a little bit of an angle. Just I just want to take some of that extra cotton off the sides. Not sure if that's going to be too difficult to see, but you kind of just, I, I just kind of thin out the cotton. Just thin it out a little bit before you press it down in there. Like I said, you don't want to jam up that hole with so much cotton that the juice can't get through as well. And then really I just grab my scissors or whatever tool you want to use and just kind of press them down in there. I just kind of stuff them down in there. Try to do this upside down is ridiculous. Let's see if I can do it like this. Yeah, you just kind of fold over the cotton, jam it down in there. It's not super difficult to do, but once you get this wicking correct, it's it, it's amazing. It, it vapes awesome. And one thing that's going to be weird and kind of hard to explain, but it's a little trick I found with the Zeus 2 that works really well, is I take the edge of my scissors and when I'm stuffing this cotton down in there, I use the sharp end to kind of create a little bit of like an air opening. I just want some, I want some room in there. I want some room in there to breathe. So I kind of use my scissors and jab it down and maybe make a few little holes like openings for juice and air to travel. But yeah, there you go. It's all wicked up. So this is taking too long. Let's juice this. Let's fill up the tank. Let's get back out to normal view and let's vape this thing. Yeah, it's just been uh, it's just been a real nice vape. Once you get that wicking, like once you get your wicking really dialed in, it wicks so well. You can take big long rips on this and just get a lot of very dense sort of saturated tasting vapor. Full open, it's got plenty, plenty of very smooth and swooshy airflow. What I like to do on the Zeus Duel is just close down the airflow, boop, about halfway. I like this to be a little bit more restricted of a lung hit. Yeah, there it is. And there's no need, at least in my experiences, to run this at some insanely high wattage. This is a 0.24 dual coil fuse Clapton in here, and I'm really only running it at about 55 watts. It's still nice and warm, it allows the wicking to keep up, and I get a really nice vape from it. One kind of thing to just be aware of with the Zeus Duel is even when you get your even when you get your wicking dialed in and it's really on point and it's wicking really well, I've found that even at its best, even when I feel like I've completely nailed the wicking on this, I can only take maybe four, four toots in a row before it starts to get ah, maybe a little bit dry. Not necessarily like burning your cotton, but just a little bit dry. I find myself taking like three to four toots at a time and then just kind of setting it down, letting those bubbles happen so the next time you pick it up, it's gonna be all wet and saturated again. You can't just chain vape this like you would like with a sub-ohm tank or something like that. You have, to, you have to give the wicking a chance to keep up with your vaping. And this RTA, more than any other RTAs, I really appreciate seeing those bubbles happening. The bubbles just come out of this like a little lava lamp and they're just satisfying and just overall very reassuring. When you see those bubbles happening in your tank, that means that the juice is getting to that cotton. It means that juice is getting to your coils and it's gonna stay nice and saturated. Aesthetically, I like how clean this tank looks. There's not a lot of big graphics or big engraving. It does say Geek Vape across the top and it does have this sort of big symbol engraved on the front. I'm not even sure what's going on there. It looks like... God? Like, did they engrave God on this? Oh, I know, it's Zeus. It's the Zeus tool, and that's an engraving of Zeus. But if you don't know that this is the Zeus and you just look at that, you kind of go, well, who's that old guy? But it is. It is clean. It's clean lines. There's not a lot of, like big engravings or big knurling or any weird symbols sort of etched into it. It's just a real consistent RTA from toot to toot. You're going to get very good performance and very nice flavor. Again, I, I hate this 
flavor rating scale. People are expecting really good flavor and people say, oh, this has bad flavor. Or this has okay flavor. Look, you're going to be able to taste your juice in here. I have this loaded up with Vlog Day. It tastes great. It's a juice I've been vaping for a very long time and it tastes exactly as it should in this tank. That's, that's what kind of flavor you're going to get from it. I'm not sure what else to say. Honestly, I've just really been enjoying using this Zeus Dual RTA. I think it's real well made. I think Geek Vape did a real nice Nice job with this RTA. And again, this RTA isn't something that's super revolutionary. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel. It's just a really well-made, reliable RTA. RTA with top airflow. Top airflow that actually feels really smooth and actually comes down at the bottom of your coils. I, I think they did a real good job on this. Now, really, are you going to need your vape budget hands for this? Nah, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it over on Element Vape, I believe, for about 30 bucks. And I know I say this a lot, but that $30 price tag is almost cheap enough to buy it just to try it out. With the popularity of squonking that's been going on now, there hasn't been a whole lot of really great RTAs coming out. So it's nice to see something from Geek Vape that is a, a really, a, a very good RTA, a real reliable RTA. So if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have no vape gear. Is the Geek Vape Zeus Dual something I would seek out and buy? I have a short list of RTAs that I really truly love and enjoy. And I think maybe, just maybe, the Zeus Dual might be getting added to that list of RTAs that I do really enjoy and would want to have in my collection. I, I like this gunmetal finish. It comes in stainless steel black gunmetal and blue and I really love the way the blue looks. If I were to buy this Zeus Duel, I would probably buy it in that cool blue color. <laughs> but that's just, you know, that that's just my that's just my personal preference. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Zeus Duel, uh really solid RTA. Just overall really solid RTA. The wicking, like I said already 8,000 times, the wicking can be a little bit finicky. You got to find that right balance of of cotton and coil diameter and you got to trim it down just a little bit and fit it into those little holes. But once you get it dialed in, it wicks awesome. You see those very reassuring bubbles. You're going to have a good vape with this RTA. But anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. I'm going to throw some links down in the description to where you can check out the Geek Vape Zeus Dual RTA. But thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.